Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. Appreciate everybody for tuning in with me on, on Kobe Day. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into it, man. For Mama Day today, man, I kind of wanted to drop something different on you guys. I wanted, you know what I'm saying, to pull out some people probably ain't never seen before. So I was able to get this cop in, in the mail on Monday, and uh, let's go ahead and get into the review, shall we? Today we're going to be looking at a Nike ID, nikeid.com. Got the swoosh in the corner pocket individually designed i think that's pretty dope that they added that on the box but y'all didn't come to see the box man let me show y'all what y'all came to see mm, bang bang here we have it man the nike zoom kobe 4. first time owning this model my first impression on this shoe it reminds me of the uh the nike hyper dunk the ogs from 08 it reminds me of a better version of these i want to say a lighter version of these so today we're going to be reviewing a Oregon inspired Kobe 4 man if you don't have this shoe I highly recommend you go up half a size super light super comfortable and man it was the it wasn't the first low top shoe that they graced the hardwood of course we got to give the crown to Gilbert Arenas but Kobe was the first one to do it you know what I'm saying with, with, with the swoosh brand so let's go ahead and get into a quick detail review once again like I said these are Oregon inspired you see Oregon right there the O on the heel, and that's back when Nike ID was was dope. I'm not saying it's not dope now, but Nike has not done away with the, with the option as far as mixing and matching the colorways. But it, it could be better than what it is now. So let's go ahead and get into the review, shall we? Starting out with the sole, of course, we got a multi-direction herringbone traction. The traction actually inspired by Venom. So I guess shout out to everybody that's gonna be watching that movie in a few months or maybe a few weeks, whenever it drops. I'm not going to be watching, and that's another story. You got the swoosh right there. You got a carbon fiber plate right there. Get into the mid, so you got these ridges right here. You got Nike Zoom, and it is a, a foam carrier, so it is very comfortable, like I said in the beginning of the video. You got a white swoosh. You got fly wire cables. You got these uh, snake scales on this, on this uh, ramp right here. Perforation holes on the toe box. Green laces coming up to that. KB logo, Shizuku logo. And I like this colorway because it reminds me of my, my high school. And my high school, my high school was, was the forest green, but the elementary was that Kelly green. So that's what these kind of put me in the mind of. Once again, you got organ right here on the on the collar. You got the O on the back of the of, of the heel. You got Nike ID on the inside if you can't see it. Uh forest green sock liner. Uh, medial side of the shoe, you got the swoosh again. Like I said, the swoosh just pops crazy. It's black, but also you see the trim of uh, it's white. Sorry about the trimmed in black. You even got the snake scales throughout the uh, the back portion side of the shoe where this heel cup is. Perforation holes on this side for breathability. Uh, Kobe logo once again up top, and then a nice knitted tongue for their breath breathability. Get into the the right shoe once again, man. These are Oregon inspired. Let me know what you think of the uh, the K, the coat. The, <laughs> I was about to say the KB fours, but we can call them that. The Kobe fours, man. Like I said, extremely lightweight. To me, they remind me of a, a better version of the OG version of the Hyper Dunks because in the Olympics 08 in Beijing, with Kobe didn't want gold. When he came back, you know what I'm saying? They they pulled out the Kobe the Kobe fours, and like I said, these just remind me of a better version of the Hyper Dunks. Oregon right here on the heel counter. Nice leather. O at the heel of the shoe. One thing that was weird on, on the right shoe, you got the Kobe logo, the Kobe Sig, and this is actually the first shoe that featured the Kobe signature. Now, I say that, but I also gotta say that the Kobe 3s had the had the signature on, on, on this metal part on the Kobe 3s, if you have them, also on the lace tip. So I can say that they do, but I, I can also say that these didn't, out, they wasn't the first one to have the signature. And the signature is like an, a, a, a gray colorway, as you can see. Heel of the, I mean, sole of the shoe again, once again, inspired by Venom. Got a swoosh right here in gray carbon fiber uh, plate right there. Got the white swoosh. Got the scales on this on this vamp up here. Perforation holes on the toe box. Green Kelly laces. Force green up top with the white Kobe logo. And that right there wraps up this review, man. Appreciate everybody for tuning in to the channel, man. Please comment in the section below. In the comment section below, let me know what you rocked on on Kobe Day. Let me know what you pulled out. Let me know, you know what I'm saying, what you feel about the Kobe Fours. Was you able to grab them back in the day? Do you still own the models? And like I said, how you feel about them? But other than this, man, I appreciate everybody for tuning in with me on Kobe Day. Hopefully, I dropped some on y'all that y'all don't, you know what I'm saying, rarely see. Uh, and other than that, man, have a blessed day. And I get up with y'all on the next review. In the next review, I got a gym coming in.
It's another low top. That's all I'm going to say. I'll catch you on the next review. This your boy MC6 Kicks Review. Signing out with the KB4s, Kobe 4s, Oregon Inspired. And we out.